We're at the Bahrain National Stadium where the Pope has performed Mass and the stadium is packed. An estimated 22,000 people have waited overnight to be here. It's a monumental experience for the small Catholic community here in Bahrain, but also from others across the region who've traveled to be here today. The Pope has used his trip to Bahrain to speak out against global injustice and his sermon today reflects that message. And it's a historic moment for Bahrain. This is the second time Pope Francis has visited the Gulf, the second time any Pope has visited the Gulf, and it reflects his commitment to improve ties with the Islamic world. The people of Bahrain are arms wide open, you know, as we say. And then for us to be invited in this event is like a cherry on top of the cake. So they were excited. They were even asking me, teacher, what should we wear? And they were sending me pictures of their outfits. So they were really expressing their joy and excitement to be a part of it. It's a great opportunity to enhance our understanding about different religions and hear His Holiness speak um, about peace and love and we're so happy to be here. This event really means a lot to us because um, it really tells us that we should all go back to our roots and we should all know that we can be connected to a religion and still live our lives and still be happy. It isn't something that we should run away from like many young people believe. It's a great moment right now for everybody, for this kingdom, for, for the people of Bahrain and, and for me at the same time. It's an honor to attend the Mass of the Pope, especially that I'm a cancer patient and this is a very memorable and special. So I hope that everybody will also feel the same. That's a feeling so happy today.